Welcome to the channel, friends. So today we're going to cover this Honeywell thermostat here. This is your typical round manual thermostat, but I want to talk about it and go over the very simple operation of this thing and why this thermostat here might be the best choice for you. Now, as you can tell, it looks like a traditional mercury style thermostat, but actually this is a mercury free thermostat. And the biggest upside of having this style of thermostat is that there are no batteries. That's right, there are no batteries to this unit. So that is a huge upside to having this thermostat installed in your home. Now, I actually may consider replacing some of my other thermostats with this one in certain areas or zones of the house. I'm sick of just replacing batteries over and over again in the, th in the thermostats um, every six months or so. So I'm looking at options that are battery free or that at least the batteries last longer. So with that being said, that may be a great option for you uh, to have this thermostat installed in your home. It's a very simple design. It's very contemporary looking. Um, you know, just like your mercury thermostats, this operates the same way. So you'll have your main dial here. You'll adjust your set point. So if you want to set it to 70 degrees, you would go ahead and set that to 70 degrees and leave it. That's all you have to do. This thing will automatically hold 70 degrees until you come here and change the dial to whatever you want. So that there is the set point. Your top numbers will take care of the set point, the desired temperature that you want in your room. The bottom numbers will indicate the actual room temperature. So this may take some time to come up to the actual desired temperature. So that, you know, this might start off at like, say 62 and then work its way to 70 once the heat actually generates in the room and the actual heating system will kick on and do its thing. Now, this here has no batteries, like I said. It's a very simple operation and install. It's a three wire system. As you can see there, you hook up your red, white, and yellow wires here. There's a level spot there, so when you install this, you wanna make sure it's level. There's a little flat spot there if you can see it. And then there is some toggle switches in the back here that are kind of important. I will give you a zoomed in shot of the settings. You guys can pause that and take a look at it and configure your manual thermostat accordingly. So you just would move these toggle switches back and forth to position one or position two, which means either on or off, as you can see there. I'm not going to go over it, but you can see it on the screen. And depending on the type of system you have, heating or cooling, you're going to want to go ahead and change that accordingly so your system operates correctly. This seems to be to do heat only. Um, I don't think this will do air conditioning. So this is a heat only thermostat. So one common thing might be is like, how do I shut this thermostat off? It does not have any switches. So in order to shut this style of thermostat off, all you have to do is rotate the dial all the way counterclockwise, essentially down past 50 degrees and into like the 40s. So that there is going to basically turn off your heating and not use the thermostat to switch on your heating system. You know, if you had it, say, like at set at like 55 or 60, it might still turn on. So you want to go past the, you basically want to set it to the lowest temperature setting on the thermostat. And then that way it will basically be in an off position and won't be in use. You can also switch off your, uh, your furnace switch, your override switch or, or your main switch on. Usually it's at the basement stairs. There'll be a switch there. You can turn it off there as well. All right, guys, so that there is the Honeywell manual round style thermostat. Very simple operation. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any other questions or comments, please place them right down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.